Hello everyone and welcome back to TSN or the Sasuke Nerds, and today I'm going to be discussing a highly contentious topic in the Sasuke community right now in the wake of news we have learned regarding Sasuke 40. With the news of beloved veteran Kane Kasugi's return to the show for this tournament, a lot of people have pondered the question, can Kane Kasugi clear Stage 1? Let's get right into it. Kane Kasugi returning to Sasuke is arguably the biggest non-total victory event to happen in the show's history, ever since Makoto Nagano's retirement in Sasuke 32. The sheer amount of celebration and excitement that has built up in anticipation for his return is something I haven't seen in years and is absolutely a welcome change, as honestly, with how Sasuke 39 was universally considered to be a massive disappointment, the community needed something to get us excited about the show again. Kasugi is a beloved figure in the Sasuke world for his dedication to the show, his impressive performances and consistency, and of course, his important role in making the show as popular as it was when he competed due to his status as a famous actor. But before we can answer the question of if he will do well in 40, we first need to look at his history with the show and what Kane's been doing outside of Sasuke. Kane started competing in Sasuke in the very early days of the show's history. No, literally, he competed in the very first tournament all the way back in 1997. Kane actually performed really well on his debut, making it all the way to the third stage before unfortunately crashing out on the pillar path. He would then take a short break from the show to focus more on the other show he competed in, Sportsman No. 1, which worked out for him pretty well, honestly. He would return to the show in Sasuke 4 and continue to have great run after great run, always giving a good account for himself each and every time. This all culminated in his best run to date in the 8th tournament, where, despite extreme weather conditions and a shaky body prop performance, Kane progressed all the way to the final stage for the first time in his Sasuke career. However, due to a combination of the torrential rain as well as a very poor technique on the Suno Nobori, Kane did not achieve Kanzenseya like many thought he would ending his run in agonizing fashion just meters from the goal. The shot of Kane crying at the bottom of the tower is a moment forever burned into the memory of many who have seen it. And that was the last we saw of Kane and Sasuke for 21 years. However, contrary to popular belief, Kane didn't just disappear off the face of the earth like many assume he did. He still did compete in a few more sportsman tournaments after he left Sasuke, finishing second in Pro 2002 and fourth in 2004. But since then, Kane has largely focused on his acting career, which has prevented him from making any further appearances in Sasuke, Sportsman, or any of the sort. He did express great interest in competing, however, as he said during an interview around the time of Sasuke 11 that if he had time to train for the show, he would like to compete again. But that time unfortunately never came, as his acting career became more and more demanding of him. However, this year, all of that changed. Earlier in 2022, Sportsman's reboot show, Sports Donchi Grand Prix, known more widely as Spodon, aired its 11th tournament and 50th overall Sportsman tournament. To mark the occasion, the show invited old faces from the show's past to compete, which included Naoki Ikatani, one of few Sportsman competitors to achieve the infamous 23 box jump on the Monster Box, and of course, Kane himself. Kane did fairly well in his return, making it all the way to the top 8, but many saw this as a possible opening for him to return to Sasuke. After all, if he was back in Sportsman, surely this meant he would also have the time for Sasuke, right? Well, although I initially disagreed, that's what we got. Kane's back, and on the same day that it was announced he was competing in Sasuke 40, a video was put up on his YouTube channel highlighting his road to competing on the show. According to the video, Kane has been training for the show for the past five months utilizing various training areas made by the competitors themselves, most notably Daisuke Matsuda's course. And here is where the analysis on whether or not he can clear begins. Okay, so let's take a look at the video. On Kane's first day, he's primarily training on the first stage and getting the basics back. And he seems to be relearning everything very quickly. Within minutes, he's already got the quad steps and the rolling hill down. Uh, okay, wow, he, he's 48 years old, he hasn't competed in Sasuke for over two decades, and he can still get up the warped wall with relative ease. However, there is one obstacle that, judging by the video, I am not sure on for Kane. Yeah. The Dragon Glider looks like it's going to be an issue for Kane. Then again, he's had five months to train for it, 
so you never know at this point. So, again, to recap. Kane looks like he's got much of the fundamentals about this course down. Quad steps and rolling hill are almost certainly not going to be an issue for him. His fishbone and warped wall techniques seem fine, and from the clip of him pushing a truck, tackle might be a breeze too. For me, there is two things that it will come down to for him clearing. The dragon glider and the time limit. Dragon Glider was very clearly Kane's weak point during training, judging by his technique and inconsistency. Kane himself said that he has to get an obstacle down 100% of the time to feel confident in his ability to clear it, and from what we saw, that may not be the case. Then again, he has had five months to train, and we did only see a snippet of his training. Time is also going to be a factor. This stage one requires speed. And at 48 years old, Kane isn't going to be moving as quick as the younger competitors in the field. He may have to go all out to have a chance of beating the time limit. But, however, taking everything into consideration, I think there is a good chance he can do it. Kane has put in so much work to get to where he is, and you know damn well those five months will have not have gone to waste. Someone who is as determined to succeed as Kane is will not cut any corners when it comes to his training. You don't clear five times in a row by cutting corners. If he can retain his speed and stamina, I can totally see Kane clearing. It's going to come down to the Dragon Glider for me. As for how he'll do if he clears, well, you'll have to wait for the results predictions for that. And that is everything I have to talk about today. But what do you think? Is Kane Kasugi clearing stage one, or do you think that his streak will finally come to an end? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Sasuke Nerds for more ninja content like this. Peace out, y'all.